Hey, how's it going? Today we're gonna go over how to draw Brain from Pinky and the Brain. It was uh, this amazing cartoon that you should definitely check out if you haven't. Um, it's it's an animated cartoon, it was an Animaniacs. Um, anyways, let's get going step by step. You can grab a marker. This is for beginners, by the way, so if you're a total beginner, you can do this. Just grab a marker or a pencil and join along with me, okay? All right, then let's get going. First thing I'm gonna do for the Brain. Brain, he was wanted to take over the world, right? Um, I'm gonna draw a C shape over here. That's gonna be for his head, right? He's got this huge head. After this, I'm going to draw kind of the brow he has here. It's it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like a, I wouldn't say, it's just a line really, but it, it kind of expresses his brow. We kind of have lines like that. It's hard to describe exactly, but you can see it visually, so you can very easily manipulate or um, copy it. Then I'm gonna draw a circle here for the nose. A U shape right here for the eye, because his eyes are kind of hidden under that huge brow. And uh, I'm gonna close this off, this circle here. And then I'm gonna draw another circle here. Dot, dot. Now I'm gonna draw the middle of his mouth and that's essentially a line down. Line down here. And that's gonna kind of wrap up here. It's gonna kind of like, it's gonna hang there. So the sides of his mouth really hang. So, I mean, this cheeks. Uh, Right here, I'm gonna draw a small line for his kind of upper, like his lower lip, kind of going up like in this moody expression. Hmm. Line there for the lower part of his chin. And then we're gonna have the bagginess on the other side right here, okay? So I'm gonna pull that here. And then I'm gonna to go to the ear section, which is over here in this section. I'm gonna pull up, curve around. Pull in. Pull in. That's gonna be kind of the pink part of the ear. And then there's gonna be, and then there's gonna be the head right here. I'm gonna draw a line right here for the head. Then I'm gonna throw a line over here on this far side. And throw a line down here. After that, I'm gonna pull a line straight down here and it's gonna be for his belly. I'm gonna pull down and pull out. And I'm gonna pull down. Pull the same thing over here. I'm gonna pull a line out, in for his arm that's behind his back, pull a line over here. And that's gonna be down his uh, backside of his body here. And I'm actually gonna kind of wrap this line around here. And we have his far side arm because he's kind of putting his hands behind his back. He's just standing there, kind of at ease. Line down here, separating his legs and feet, pulling down, pull out, pull out, pull out. In, in, pull out. Like basically, he has three toes. Just kind of pull that out. And you can throw his tail here, which is just a single kind of zigzaggy line. You can draw whatever you want, really, but I would draw that zigzaggy line. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to fix that right there. A little line among his belly to show a change of plane. Throw an M shape right here toward the bottom. That's gonna show kind of the change between kind of the mouse fur and then the, the skin shape, you know, the skin kind of value. And that's pretty much it. That's brain from Pinky and the Brain. The last thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna draw a thick line 
around the contour. That is purely for design. I do that all the time. They don't really do that in the show. I'm just kind of doing it for, because I like the look of it. It kind of unifies everything and makes everything look like a sticker. That's pretty much it. That's Pinky. I'm sorry, that's Brain for Pinky the Brain. I'll go over Pinky in another video. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. If you have any characters you want to see, let me know. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Give me a thumbs up if you can. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be posting three times a day probably for at least uh, for the weekdays um, for, the for the foreseeable future. So definitely keep up with me and I will talk to you in the next video and I'll see you soon.